In 1 Corinthians 13, Paul says that he sees God through a glass darkly, which is a pretty weird turn of phrase to the modern ear, but it made a hell of a lot more sense when he said it. Saying that back in the 0050s would be a lot like saying that you saw God through a funhouse mirror today. See, glass has been around pretty much forever. Our earliest archaeological records show that it was already being made in and around Egypt in 3500 BCE, but for most of its history, glass was by necessity imperfect. Right? The, the colorless, fully transparent glass that you think of when I say glass today, that wasn't invented until the 15th century. Uh, a Venetian dude named Angelo Baravir gets credit for that, for what he called Cristallo. But in truth, it's hard to pin down to like one inventor. Right? Like Venice had been the glassmaking capital of Europe for centuries by then, and generations of Venetian glassblowers had been slowly moving towards that perfected form for a long time. And look, a solid argument can be made that this represents the single most important invention in human history. Now, usually that honor goes to something like uh, the printing press or fire or computers or something, but it is hard to overstate what a world changer clear glass really was. It, it allowed for the perfection of lenses, so Everything we ever found using a telescope or a microscope owes its discovery to transparent glass. Right there, we've revolutionized astronomy and biology, but clear glass is just getting warmed up, right? Like some form of eyeglasses had existed for a couple hundred years by then, but they only provided distorted and imperfect views. They were hard to use. Once you have fully transparent glass, you can make spectacles that maintain perfect fidelity. That meant scholars could continue to read into their old age. I mean, as a guy in his mid-40s, I can tell you that is not the case in nature, right? So before, you basically had a time limit on your academic studies. You, you get to be my age or a little older, and you, you have to stop reading. You know, maybe you could talk a young person into reading stuff to you, but obviously that's a subpar solution. But toss in modern eyeglasses, and suddenly people can learn more. Like, the sum total of information that can be taken in through one's lifetime is higher. Clear glass literally allowed us, as a species, to become wiser. Uh, beyond that, the increasing ubiquity of glass allows uh, people to do shit that requires daylight indoors under natural light. I mean, think about all the scientific experiments and shit that would be impossible to do under firelight or in the near dark. But wait, there's more. I know this is going to seem like a bit of a stretch, but clear glass also allows us to make mirrors that don't cloud the image or add any distortion. Right? Like silver-backed mirrors change the way we perceive ourselves and did so all but universally. When silver-backed mirrors show up in a society, you see a consistent trend towards individuality. You can actually measure it in increasing awareness of fashion. Hell, many historians have postulated that the introduction of modern mirrors is a direct cause for the rise of psychology as a science. Now, back when Paul was writing his epistles, the idea of looking through a glass and not seeing a distorted image was unthinkable. So when he says he sees through a glass whether or not it's darkly, he's saying he's seeing an imperfect image. Right, adding the darkly is really just there to emphasize that fact. He's saying, I see a vague outline and I'm inferring the rest. But unlike the rest of the things in the universe, God never came into focus even when we cleaned up the glass. Right? Back in Paul's day, we saw everything through a glass darkly. The semi-mystical ramblings that passed for science back then were looking at the whole goddamn world through that same imperfect glass. But thanks to some dedicated motherfuckers in Venice, over time, we learned to see further, deeper, and clearer. We learned how to see the invisible. Paul saw through a glass darkly because he had no choice. What's the modern Christian's excuse? <laughs> 